I'm at the starboard side of this little 12 and a half at the forward bulkhead, and this is going to be the first frame that we're going to replace in the boat. Now, most of the framing from here back's already been replaced. These frames are actually square edge, so they're square frames, and they're put down, they're twisted into place, and that's okay, but for the frame that we're going to put in, we're going to saw it to a progressive bevel or a rolling bevel. And the reason why we're going to do that is so that it will lay against the planking perfectly, but the after face of it will also lay against the bulkhead. I've transferred the degrees from the inside of the boat onto a very light little batten. And then what I've done is taken the batten and laid it on this piece of wood and transferred the numbers from the batten onto the piece of wood. Now I've got 8 degrees here, 9, 10, 11, 12, goes up to 15 degrees. I'm going to saw that rolling bevel right here on our little portable bandsaw. All right, we're feeding that frame right through the bandsaw there now. And uh, you can see that I'm glancing back and forth from the numbers on the frame to the numbers on the bandsaw so that I can keep the two coinciding with each other. So we've pushed it right through there. Now there's our frame. I'm going to take it over to a table here and clamp it down and just take a little block plane and plane that roughness off there that the bandsaw has left. Now it's come out very nicely. We're, now we're going to go over to a steam box. Now I have a steam box, but it's considerably bigger. And this just steams it up much faster because it's got a very small amount of space in it. This plastic works fantastic. It costs no money whatsoever. I haven't invested any money in materials. It's got some particular advantages that a steam box doesn't have. I can actually put my fingers on the top of the bag while it's steaming and feel the frame to see how limber it's getting as I steam along. That way I can determine if it's ready before I pull it out. See, it's already limber, just like that. When I do pull it out, I'm actually going to pull it into a piece of pipe insulation so we can deliver it Ready? and it's not going to lose its temperature right away and we can handle it much easier. Now that we've delivered the frame into position, we slide it down out of the pipe insulation as quickly as we can because it's cooling off very rapidly. It's a small piece. So we bend it into position and then we fasten it in with sheetrock screws actually once we've drilled a hole and we use fender washers because the planking is so delicate that what we want to do is fasten it down into position very rapidly and then later on we'll replace those screws with bronze screws and uh, we've tied the head of the frame over with a piece of line and the idea of that is, is so that it will stay into position once it's cooled off because the boat itself is not training the head too very well. So that's the idea there.